What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Taste of Lessons. I'm your man, Eat Money. We are back right here at Caribbean Dynasty in Baltimore, Maryland, guys. At this spot, we have some roti. Can't wait to check it out. And I got a special guest. Yeah, roti pizza. Hey, what's up? Roti pizza here. So we about to dive into this. Make sure y'all stay tuned, stay locked in. See you in a minute. We are at Caribbean Dynasty right here in Baltimore, Maryland. So as you can see, I got a guest today. Roti Pizza. Yeah, doing the collab you didn't know you needed. <laughs> so we're excited. He's gonna show me uh, some roti today. I know that's new on the channel. Like I said, guys, I try to do something different for you guys, bring you something new every time. So enough talking, let's get into it. Let's start with the roti first. This is the star of the show. And this thing is huge. Look at this, guys. This thing is heavy. All right. Time to unveil it for y'all. Mm. And it smells so good. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Look at that, y'all. There's a referral right here. So, trust me. I've already seen it. Now I get to taste it, guys. Sheesh. Yeah, serious. Serious. What's the best way? Uh, so I'm gonna let you explain because this is like new for me. So what should I do first, or if you want to talk about the roti, you know, some education for them. All right. So so real quick, roti is uh, authentic Trini food. Um, what it is is you got the the breading, which is the roti itself, and then inside you got the the curry. You got um, curry potatoes, and then you got curry on um, chana, which is uh, garbanzo beans. And then they added some um, pumpkin in there. Yeah, so that's different. Yeah, so, so all that is going to elevate the flavor. I'm and excited, you add, man. Put it in a wrap, and that's a wrap. Right. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> put it in a wrap, and that's a wrap. All right, y'all. Let me cut into this. Is it best to cut into it or pick it up? Pick it up. Yeah. Hey, y'all you know how I get down. You gotta use your hands. <laughs> y'all know how I get down. All right. Ooh. Wow. Pillowy soft, fluffy, and this is packed with flavor, guys. So, enough talking. And y'all don't know what I say, right? Big bite, dang. <laughs> What you think? Mm. Yes. This is good, man. Yeah. Good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> got a hey, got him speechless. Yeah. Big time. Mm. Taste the flavors, the herbs. This is coming through very authentic, guys. You taste the potatoes. You taste that pumpkin flavor in there. Definitely. It's a good pick, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I see what we're talking about. Now yeah. I see it. Woo. Look at all that flavor and love in there. 
I'm telling you, man. Y'all gotta check this out. Now I see what you're talking about. You need to be going in because I'm like, it's hard to put this down when you pick this up, guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm. Serious. It's blowing my mind today, y'all. Definitely. So much flavor in one dish. Mm. It's like a pillowy blanket. You just wrap all this goodness all up into one thing, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Let me do one more bite. I'll probably say that a couple more times though. <laughs> All right, y'all. You know I gotta give you options. So we already know the roti is a banger. Now we on to the size. So we got mac and cheese, rice and peas, and we also got the cabbage. Yeah, I know I love my mac and cheese. Mm. This is good. So with uh, with Trini food, they actually call it uh, macaroni pie. Oh, really? Because, yeah, because it's uh, it's baked, you know, so it's slightly a little different than macaroni and cheese, but yeah, the same great flavor. Yeah. Baked mac and cheese is what I grew up on, man. Mm -hmm. I grew up on soul food, so to me, you know, you got those ones out there where they do make it creamy, you know, but to me, I love baked mac and cheese. It is so this what is I grew up on. <laughs> and it, hey, it's, it's funny you say that because Trini food or Caribbean food is soul food, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some education for y'all right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You eat and you learn. <laughs> All right, let's try to rice and peas. Mm. Tell you, man, y'all need to come here. Y'all need to come here, man. Wow. Mm. There's so much flavor. Yeah. I've been missing out, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been missing out. That's where it's at. Oh, yeah. But this is why. Look, look, look. We cleans them. <laughs> I tell you, we cleans them. But I'm um, telling you guys, that's why I'm doing this channel for you guys. Like, putting you on, on the spot to what's going on, and you can check it out for yourself. And I can't wait to hear from you guys what you think. Caps. Mm. Perfect. Cabbage is good, y'all. Cabbage is good, you guys. Look at this. A lot of flavors in these dishes, guys. Mm. And I'm big on that. I don't want something that's bland food, you know, don't really feel the love or authentic. I feel it in these dishes, so. Do what? One, two, three, four. Four for four here? <laughs> and they got more to try. This is just a little bit of what they offer, guys. So. Trust me, check out the menu. Don't forget to wash it down with uh, pineapple ginger. Mm. That's right here, it's serious. I got mine too. Let's cleanse the palate. It hits you, right? Mm, yeah, hit you. that ginger hit me. <laughs> <laughs> that ginger hit me right away. Yeah. It's good though. People who drink ginger with the juices, you know. You know I hate you. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Taste of Blessings. This is Roti Pizza. Make sure you guys check them out. You'll see them again. Trust me, guys. It's just the beginning. Check out Caribbean Dynasty in Baltimore and tell them Taste of Blessings sent you. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And like I always say, if you make one step, God makes two. And just like that, your blessings will come to you. We out. It's your boy Nikosi, Chef Nikosi, owner operator of Caribbean Dynasty, 647 West Pratt Street, downtown Baltimore. Support Black on Pratt and come try our roti. Trini, as you can see, the flags. Caribbean Dynasty came about, never your mind, with the concept, um, but I've been cooking and catering for over 25 years in the DMV. It was a dream of mine, so now that it's kind of coming to fruition, it's just about the food, you know, Trini food. If you're new here, come in here for the first time. If it is not Trini, you have to try our roti. If you never had our roti, our roti is like a, a flavored burrito, in the sense that the actual flour it, it has the chickpeas in it, you know, and it's seasoned. You know, it's, it's not just dough, it's a seasoned dough. 
gotta try the roti. Kalaloo nice, mamaka and cheese. The oxtail is to die for. The goat, Jamaicans love it. Um, just about everything, you know. Um, I won't say I'm the best cook, but I'm the best right now. <laughs> we got a website, Needs Work, but check us out on Caribbean Dynasty 647. Well, if you haven't been to the Caribbean Dynasty, downtown Baltimore, you gotta come taste the blessings. Shout out my man, E-Money, for coming out, tasting the food, checking out the blessing that he got with some roti, some mac and cheese, rice and peas. He got the whole spread. So, check out E-Money, taste the blessings, Caribbean Dynasty.